Now that you've seen the procedures for installing the ballasted system and the adhered system, let's take a look at the mechanically anchored or MAS system. Firestone's MAS system uses EPDM panels that are attached to the deck with batten strips and fasteners. And the batten strips and fasteners are covered with quick seam batten covers. The batten strips are placed in a specified pattern to optimize wind uplift resistance. As with the adhered system, the MAS system is installed on roof decks that can provide adequate pullout resistance for Firestone fasteners. Here's the procedure for installing an MAS system. After the roof surface has been prepared and the insulation has been installed and fastened, position the rolls of EPDM membrane on the insulation, roll them out, unfold them, and align the membrane panels allowing for a 5 inch overlap. Allow the panels to relax properly. Typically, large panels of EPDM membrane are used with the MAS system, but smaller panel sizes are recommended during cold weather. The MAS system uses Firestone batten strips and fasteners to anchor the membrane to the roof substrate. The battens are spaced from 6 to 9 feet apart, depending on code requirements and building height. Additional batten strips are installed along the roof perimeter in a picture frame pattern. Approved batten layouts are provided in the Wind Design Guide section of Firestone's Technical Manual. Be sure to select and verify the proper layout before installation begins. Before you install the batten strips, splice the membrane panels using Firestone 3-inch quick seam tape. After the panels are spliced, Mark the locations of the battens on the membrane using a tape measure and a chalk line. Then, lay out the batten strips along the chalk lines, overlapping adjacent battens with one common fastener hole. Whenever it is necessary to cut a batten strip, round the cut end using sheet metal shears and remove any sharp burrs. Place a 2-inch round piece of EPDM membrane directly under the cut end of the batten as a cushion. You can cut this round protection pad from excess membrane. Where batten runs meet at T intersections, hold the intersecting batten back 11 inches from the T. Where batten runs meet at corners, hold one of the two intersecting battens back 11 inches from the corner. Before you install Firestone fasteners in the batten strips, determine the proper fastener spacing. Firestone requires that fasteners be spaced at least every 12 inches on center, but some building codes and deck conditions may require additional fasteners. Always verify the correct number of fasteners before proceeding. Always place a fastener within one inch of each end of the batten run. In some cases, the location of this fastener will not coincide with a pre-punched hole. You must drill a pilot hole through the batten strip. Drill the hole using a one-quarter inch drill bit. Before installing the end fasteners in any batten run, always verify that the end of the batten has been rounded and that a two-inch round protection pad has been placed directly under the end of the batten. Also, be sure to remove any shavings or small pieces of batten. This debris could cut the membrane. Starting at one end of the batten run, attach the batten using Firestone fasteners, placed through the pre-punched holes, and spaced no more than 12 inches apart. Connect adjacent battens with a single fastener placed through the common hole. Make sure each fastener is properly engaged in the deck and the head is flush with the batten strip, but be careful not to overdrive the fasteners. This will cause the strip to buckle between fasteners. After the batten strips are attached, install quick seam batten covers. The installation of quick seam batten covers begins with an application of quick prime. First, clean the area along the battens with a stiff push broom to remove any excess dust. Then, apply the quick prime along the length of the batten strip. Make sure the coverage of quick prime covers the batten strip and extends at least 3 inches from both edges of the batten strip and at least 6 inches beyond the end of the batten strip. 
Always remember to provide additional cleaning at factory seams to remove any excess dusting agent. Immediately after applying the quick prime, apply a 3 quarter inch round by 3 sixteenths of an inch thick bead of Firestone general purpose sealant to the top of each fastener head. Allow the quick prime to flash off. Then use the touch test to check for drying. Then, starting a minimum of 4 inches ahead of the 2 inch round EPDM protection pad, center the quick seam batten cover over the batten and begin to roll into place, removing the release paper as installation progresses. As the batten cover is installed, apply pressure along the length of the batten cover using a clean scrubber pad and handle. Using a 1 and 1 half inch wide silicone roller, roll the quick seam batten cover toward the outside edges and then along the entire length. Whenever it is necessary to continue a batten run with additional rolls of batten cover, lap the new roll of batten cover 1 inch onto the end of the preceding roll. All quick seam batten cover overlaps must be covered with a 12 inch strip of quick seam flashing. Apply quick prime to an area extending 6 to 8 inches in all directions beyond the batten cover lap. After the quick prime is flashed off, apply a 12 inch long strip of Firestone quick seam flashing directly over the lap and extending 3 inches beyond each edge of the batten cover. Then roll the flashing with a silicone roller. Similarly, install a 12 inch long strip of quick seam flashing directly over any location where a batten cover intersects a field seam. To complete the installation of quick seam batten covers, apply seam edge treatment to these locations. At the ends of all batten cover runs, extend it at least 4 inches along the sides of the batten cover. Around the edge of all 12 inch long strips of quick seam flashing that have been applied to overlaps and field seam intersections. Apply the seam edge treatment to the entire perimeter of the flashing strip and extend it at least 3 inches along the intersecting edges of the batten cover. In addition, a Firestone batten ring or a square picture frame must be installed around all pipe penetrations and penetration pockets.